that close it up, as we've mentioned, New Hampshire is the center of the political universe once again this weekend as the presidential race rolls right through the Granite State. And this past week, I spoke with two of the arch architects of the campaigns, Clinton's national campaign manager, Robbie Mook, and Trump's first campaign manager, New Hampshire's own Corey Lewandowski. Robbie, thanks for joining us two days before the election. How do you feel things are going? Josh, we feel really good. We're seeing record turnout across the country. Uh, this is going to be the biggest turnout election uh, in the history of our country. And we're just reminding everybody to make a plan to vote uh, on Election Day. Um, this is also a time for voters to reflect on the choice that they have in this election. I think everybody would agree uh, that the choice between these two candidates couldn't be starker. Uh, Secretary Clinton is spending uh, these final days talking about how she believes that our country is stronger together, uh, that we have to get this economy working for everybody, uh, not just millionaires and billionaires. Uh, we have to keep our country secure by working with our allies and, and having steady leadership in the White House and the Situation Room, um, and that we need to embrace our diversity as a strength in our country. And Donald Trump has painted a very dark and divisive vision of our future. Uh, his racist, sexist, bigoted comments, uh, he's proposed more tax breaks for billionaires uh, like himself, and he simply is unfit to be our commander-in-chief, and I think most Americans would be scared to have him making life and death decisions in the Situation Room. So that, that is the choice, and that's what we're focused on right now. And yet poll numbers, that have, they've been volatile throughout this whole all-election cycle, but uh, shows that the races are getting tighter here in New Hampshire and other uh, important battleground states. Uh, obviously, last week, the, the assumption is that when uh, James Comey came out with this letter, uh, it might be impacting uh, you know, how voters feel about this. One, you pointed to uh, the letter asking for more clarity that you haven't received yet as to that. I'm asking you, and not to asking you to speak for your candidate, do you believe that there was political motivations uh, with the release of that letter? Josh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why they did it. It was it was perplexing, frankly. Um, it was a complete break in precedent uh, and in protocol of the Justice Department. There's a long-standing rule that uh, not only do you not release things before a political campaign, uh, but you also don't share information uh, about uh, information you might have uh, unless you've come to some conclusion. It's very strange. That's why you have. Democratic and Republican former attorneys general from the Obama and the Bush administration saying this was a, a pretty grave mistake. Um, we're told that senior officials at the Justice Department uh, asked Director Comey not to do this. But we, we're trying to spend these last few days talking about the very stark choice uh, that voters have in this election. And this will be a very close race. We've always expected that. That's why we built such an enormous ground organization in New Hampshire. That's an advantage we have over Donald Trump. But we want to be very clear to our supporters, particularly in New Hampshire, where we think this will be very close. Turn out and vote. Make a plan and make sure you uh, cast that vote. Yeah, speaking of the president, he's going to be in New Hampshire tomorrow. And then uh, I understand he's going to be with Hillary Clinton uh, in Philadelphia uh, for one of the final events of this campaign season. Was that the plan all along or have you had to adapt and adjust your strategy given what we're seeing over the course of the last week? This actually has been our plan for some time, in large part because New Hampshire and Pennsylvania are two of the battleground states where almost all voting happens on Election Day itself. A lot of other states like Florida, North Carolina, Nevada, um, some of them are close to or even over 50 percent of the vote cast. Actually, in Arizona, the, uh, well over 50 percent of the vote has been cast uh, already. That's why we know this is going to be a historically high turnout election. And because folks in New Hampshire or just have that one day on election day, we want to make sure that they do make a plan to go vote because you don't want to wake up the morning after the election. All your friends, all your family were part of history and participated in this election and you didn't. So um, New Hampshire is one of the easiest states in the country to vote on election day. Uh, if you haven't been registered, you can register at the polls and, and the, the polls are open all day. Um, but we just remind people who have busy lives, just make a plan and, and then you'll be sure to show up. And from the standpoint of strategy, we're just just about out of time, but I want to ask you, has this election uh, fundamentally changed the way uh, campaigns will be run moving forward, do you believe? I think that Donald Trump has such a divisive character 
uh, such a dangerous worldview that I think this is a unique campaign, and that's why Republicans and independents, particularly in New Hampshire, have been coming over to our campaign. Uh, Hillary has built a coalition of support that is unique in our politics. I certainly hope that in future presidential elections we have uh, candidates on the Republican side and on the Democratic side, for that matter, who are more respectful, who don't have the kind of divisive, bigoted, racist language that we've heard uh, from Donald Trump, and we can get back to talking about the issues, which is what Hillary's trying to do these last few days. Well, best of luck to you moving forward. I appreciate your time, and I imagine that the seconds are dragging by for you at this point. Well, Josh, we appreciate it, and we're just we're going to work hard right up until the last minute and try to earn every vote we can. Robbie Mook, thanks very much.